So, I've been asked, how do you do such crappy videos on YouTube? Anyways, I will show you how to do it for free. This is how I do it. I borrowed this DVD camera. When I borrowed the DVD camera, I, I said, hey, did it come with any software or anything like that? He says, yeah, I can't. with some sort of weird disc. I don't know. I've never used it whatsoever. So anyways, I came home and checked it out. It's called my DVD Light Edition or something. Anyways, so once installed, you push your DVD into the, the one that you take out here. You have to finalize it because, of course, I don't have a cord or he doesn't have a cord that allows you to do the direct audio visual to the computer, okay? And I'm not going to spend one. So once you uh, put the, the disc in, your computer should... Uh, fire up with, you know, something looking like that, okay? Do, 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 do. On the list should be that thing. If not, hit cancel, okay? And go to the program that you installed. Uh, in this case, it's called My DVD, and I just, I've used it. So anyways, fire up the program that they installed. Hey, that's my grandkid, by the way. Youngest one, Jacob. Little Jake, okay? So you can see it's uh, Roxio, I guess it is. So now you have to go, uh, telephone, oh, anyways, you have to go new project, DVD, okay, and I'll be back, and I'll show you in a minute. Oh, can you believe that, there was nobody anyways, they didn't even stick around. Okay, so you have to add files, okay, add files, you'll see something there anyways, go to your, your computer, and go to the drive where you put your disk in, okay, and click open that. Uh, you'll see something in there. I want it all anyway, so make sure you check off everything there. Import audio stereo. That looks right. Anyways, try it with the default settings. I mean, that's what I do with most new stuff. Now, from advance, this is going to take a long time, even on a fast computer, okay? So, catch in a minute. Okay, that's done. Took, uh, oh man, took a while. Anyways. You can change this here. I am on episode 10 of my various projects, or at least that's how many discs I've used up now. So at this point, I save the save everything. Okay. Uh, Gramps episode 10. Good enough. Excellent. Whoops. No, I don't want to go in there. There. Okay. Now this also takes a little while. So. Uh, that that other process, mm, maybe 15 minutes, I guess. I don't know. Somebody came to the door and I yacked for them, yacked with them for a little while, and came back and it was just finishing. So we'll see how long this one takes, and I'll try to give you a guesstimate. Okay, so so far what we've done is we've opened, we've finalized our DVD because I don't have a cable. So I finalized the DVD in the DVD camera, put it in the computer. I had already installed the little software package that came with the, the camera and uh, this is the result here, this DVD video light. As soon as I have added a file, which was our new project that we started, I saved, saved it, okay, because it takes a long time to import it and it takes a good time to save it to your computer. Once, you, once it's on your computer, you can read from your hard drive a heck of a lot faster than you can import it again, okay? So at least now we've got a, a copy of it. So in this case here, you know, you just got to experiment. I don't read instructions, so you click on the movie there. If you double click, it plays, you know, if you edit movie right here. And what it'll do now is it builds a preview display of the movie. And this takes, eh, I'm not too sure. Uh, saving it took, I don't know, few minutes, five minutes. Well, it doesn't look like this is going to take very long. So we'll sit here and wait. We can, yeah. You can capture video, do new slideshow and all that stuff, but I, I would think you can only do this if you have the cable. New slideshow, new so I don't know. Lots of stuff to do that. So, here's all the little clips that we took on the DVD. So what I do now is I, I pick a segment. You can play them up here. Uh, these are fades and dissolves and uh, pushes, rotates, and all those little flippy things for your computer, and you drag them down here like this. Ding. Okay. So once I have uh, figured out, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can hear, not even showing you. 
Uh, once I have figured out which little clips I want to play, I have to export the movie in this case at this point here. Hey? Uh, and it doesn't give you, this is the only other way of getting it to your computer in a different type of format, hey? And in this case, it only gives you MPEG. You've got your choice between standard, blah, 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 blah. Always pick the highest quality if you got room and all that. Dolby Digital sounds fine. Find the spot, save it, okay? Which takes a little while, so I'll do one here and I'll say, well, no, I won't. So anyways, once I've saved it in MPEG format, won't even let me do this. Cancel. I, yeah, and that's the other thing. Keep canceling in that. If you need to make a copy of something, save it as something different, eh? But I'm not going to show you computer type stuff. So then after that, open up Windows M Movie Maker, which comes with your computer anyways, right? And then you import that MPEG. Then you can save it as a WMD file and upload it to YouTube. I've uploaded the MPEG ones. It, 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 it works pretty good, but they're so huge that... Uh, even with high speed, man, it just say, hey, oh, I'll cancel. So that's why I now we import them with Windows Movie Maker. And that's, hey, that's how you do it for free. Uh, there's lots of videos on other stuff, hey, but that's all. So, boy, that was clear as mud, eh? Well, here, here's an actual example. Okay, so the, these are the little clips, remember, I showed you down at the bottom. You can delete them from here, okay, and they're not gone from your backup copy, okay, just so you know that. So you can remove some from down here. You can also add more things like pictures and stuff before you're done. So if you wanted to lead in title showing, uh, you know, this made by such and such production type thing. I never use those. Anyways, so here, here for this how-to that we're doing, I'm um, showing you right here. These are the, the four segments. I've drug one of these little flips down into the middle so you'll be able to see it, you know, when it flips over. Okay. Uh, I'm still in under edit mode on this. And I'm exporting the movie as, I'm just going to pick the folder where I put my stuff. I'm going to call this, uh, you boob. Okay. So, it builds a preview display and it, this is going to take a little while. So, I'll show you in a minute here. So, I'm making this last video here and I see you got my power bar down below there, eh? So, uh... I'm making the how to how to make a video <laughs> type thing here for YouTube and it's just about finishing it's you know changing into MPEG and I stretch my feet out and I throw the power bar a eh? poof computer all goes off oh then I'm having a uh, some sort of weird issue a eh? but anyways I fixed that like I said I'm not gonna go into computer crap for you hey this is a Windows movie maker I'm just gonna get rid of the the last one that I had in there. Now there, there's probably lots of how-to's on this, but anyways, this is this, the second step of of this, uh, you know, getting a video up. Uh, here's the one that we made with the other, the exported version from that DVD light. Okay, so I'm just basically import it. You've got you can capture from a video device or you can import a video. Okay, so here's the one that we exported before. You drag it down onto your timeline. If you wanted to, again, add pictures or transitions, if you had more up here. When you import it, you can also import it in different frames, eh? so it allows you to edit it a little bit. Eh? But anyway, so I import it all as one. I drag it down here, and then I save it to my computer. Basically, that's it. I'm going to call this you boob. Next. And I pick high quality video. There's lots of different options here, but the high quality video gives you a display of 640 by 480, a uh, aspect ratio of 4, 4 to 3, and uh, frames per second of 30, which is pretty close to what you want. Anyways, it, it, it work, works good for me. And again, now this takes a long time. So, see when this is done. Yeah, it's done. It took about oh, 10 minutes, thereabouts. Anyways, you got a choice of playing the movie when you're finished. I just click finish, and then I don't save squat. Not much point. I've got the DVD anyways, okay? I suppose you could save your MPEGs and stuff. And then, I mean, there's lots of things on how to do the YouTube upload type thingy too, eh? Uh, here, I'll just shrink this down here for a minute. I'll show you the difference between sizes, okay? Uh, the difference between that MPEG and then the the 
WMD file that the Windows. Uh, okay, so that you boob here in the WMD, that's the Windows Media one. That's 66, 528. So 66 makes. Let's go check the other one. 390. Okay, so 390,000, almost 391,000 versus 66 and a half thousand. So you can see there's a fair fair amount of difference. Now quality wise, I don't know. I mean, uh, you got the DVD, so if you want a good quality, watch it at home. If you're just putting it up for free on YouTube, I mean, yeah, you want it to go fairly quick, eh?